We have sent crews to Southside, the Roanoke Valley, and the New River Valley. A woman was killed and two sheriff deputies were hurt after strong winds blew over a barn and a large tree in Craig County. There were several reports of storm damage across much of the region today. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh is live in Roanoke after following several of these incidents in the city. So Kelly, what can you what can you tell us? Yeah, well, the effects of this storm are clearly visible here in Roanoke. If you take a look behind me, the Roanoke River is actually overflowing right now. There's signs, the bridge is even kind of getting a little bit of that water on top of it. But it's not only that, it's also been down trees across the city. But Roanoke Fire and EMS have been working to clear the debris and restore access around the city. Throughout the day, high winds and heavy rain have led to widespread damage. Multiple reports of down trees have come in from various neighborhoods and authorities are advising residents to stay indoors until conditions improve. Earlier today, 10 News crews were sent to several of the locations you've been seeing on your screen. From Benton to downtown Roanoke, the storm has uprooted trees and blocked streets. The barricades team has responded to about 60 calls for service since 630 this morning. There are several road closures that are listed on the city of Roanoke social media pages, so Facebook and Instagram. With the storm still chugging through Southwest Virginia, we're working for you to keep you informed. As cleanup efforts progress, we'll provide updates to keep you as safe as possible. Live in Roanoke, Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.